our viewer question today um, is, uh, the viewer would like to know what you think about spirulina. Spirulina is one of those uh, green uh, mystical powders that uh, people put into uh, into their smoothies and other drinks and uh, because it's so intensely green and it's marketed as a great source of chlorophyll and chlorophyll you know uh, is just like hemoglobin uh, you certainly want a, uh, a good shot of spirulina well uh, chlorophyll is not uh, identical to hemoglobin by a long shot uh, it's a different molecule altogether uh, but it's a it's a very important molecule i have no problem eating lots of chlorophyll i'm certainly an advocate of uh, dark green leafy vegetables but i wouldn't uh, use spirulina as because i want to get more chlorophyll eat more kale if that's what you want to do eat more broccoli uh, what are my concerns about spirulina uh, my main concern is that uh, this organism uh, produces a molecule that is similar to vitamin B12. It's a vitamin B12 analog. Uh, and the problem is that molecule can occupy the receptor site on your cells that are looking for real B12. But if that receptor site is already occupied by this pseudo B12 that doesn't really work. It doesn't really do what B12 is supposed to do as far as uh, maturing your blood cells, etc. But it's occupying that receptor site. Uh, then it uh, can cause a functional vitamin B12 deficiency and you don't want that. So for that reason alone, plus I'm never really sure about other contaminants that might be in these products. Uh, I'm not a big fan of spirulina. And there's been studies. If you uh, do a search on spirulina and B12 analogs, you'll, you'll see the medical studies that verify this. So I'm not a big spirulina fan. If you want uh, more chlorophyll in your diet, then have another helping of kale, another helping of broccoli, another helping of uh, spinach, and keep those greens going. And there's so many good things in there uh, that uh, you're going to benefit way beyond the chlorophyll as well. So, uh, so I would say when it comes to spirulina, uh, leave it on the shelf, eat more greens. Okay, great. Eat more greens. Hi, everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here announcing our new format for our Q&A with Dr. K. Each day, Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our daily Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.